belong with me until Gwen say otherwise. <laughs> she will, you know, so. Um, mommy, no or yes? Uh, yes, yes I can. Yeah. Yes I can. Yeah. Yes I can. Okay. Would you like yes, you can. to be able to walk you up here? Yes. Come on. Right. Person number one and number two. There's many, many, many things, of course, I could say, and I can plan anything. The big thing, you know, is in my thoughts, I'm really ready to talk about that now, because it's already in there. I don't want to be redundant. Playground in the evening. Now you're going to tell me that ain't God. 
Then they even have his work up the street from where we went to Bible school. They were picking up his ball. I was there every day. <laughs> I watched him. I realized someone had put some good teaching in him. Polite, very charismatic, very kind, soft spoken, never loud. But then he was so fat. <laughs> 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 and now remember, I'm just a guy, girl. You ain't supposed to be talking about my boy being fat. <laughs> and I'll just say it to some of my church guy folk, because you're going down and go to hell talking about a boyfriend. <laughs> so that wasn't allowed, so I kept it in my heart. And I followed through. And the rest is history. But with all they have said, Doug and Teresa, Teresa, I met her when she was about three. He, he brought her over to my house with, with my brother. So proved me as a male vinyl sisters and brother. It was the craziest thing, <laughs> Teresa. Right. And he had a problem with this. Right? Like, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. First, it was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. And I held it to that kind of high esteem. The, the entire 68 years we've been together. Mm. Oh, That's a long time to do with one man. Um, I'm going to say it. Okay. <laughs> but I loved my first in Korea. Yeah. I don't care what nobody said. And I took good care of them. Yeah, 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 she did. I took very good care of them. Yeah. And he loved family. He came from a very large family. I came from a small family, but it didn't matter. We made it work. That's right. And we were delivered in how we were raising our children, as you can see. There was a lot poured into them. This don't happen by accident, by the way. That's right. Or osmosis. You gotta work at it. Right. You gotta work at that. You gotta work at it from the God perspective. Yeah. The streets don't give you this. You can't get that when you're yeah. in the street. Yeah. But I thank and praise God for the privilege and opportunity and the strength to be the stand up here without breaking down. Because yeah. uh, I wasn't too long for being like, oh. I did. I did my part and I did what I was supposed to do as a wife and a mother, a auntie, uh, whatever, paying yeah. along. I treat them all the same, just like they were ours. And first he did too. He never bragged about how many kids was in the house who came home for the weekend. None of that bothered him. He was like a father to everybody who came along. It didn't matter. Everybody was treated the same. But I want to thank and praise God in front of this uh, crowd of witnesses that I had a wonderful, I mean, I had a wonderful marriage. And we set out ourselves to do what we did when we were in high school. And we carried them out up until he took his last dying breath. Yeah. So I thank and praise God for the strength and how God is so true to what he said he would do if you do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Right? Because that's a two-way street. He's already done everything he's going to do. When he said it's finished, it's just on you now. So you must pull that thing down. Okay, from the supernatural down into the natural, and you can have that also. But I thank you all for coming out. I thank you for the privilege of knowing each and every one of you all the way I've known you uh, in my life and what I've done. And I hope it's been something that uh, you could carry on and tell somebody else about the goodness of the Lord. Because that was the that was the part of my life. Always the goodness of the Lord. And I saw to it, person was raised Methodist, I was raised Church of God. We're gonna do this God thing. Now that's what we're gonna do. And I allowed him to be who he was and do it in his manner, his way. Because, you know, we sort of mess up sometimes, ladies, about our husband. Uh, allow them to be the man. Say that. Allow them to be the man. But you help him. You are helping help me. You help him. Don't move now. Don't talk about it. Because Toyin and Tia, I made I made person think he was the king of the world. That's right. I made him think he thought of everything. <laughs> I did. Oh, I was an expert on it. Oh, <laughs> he had a 
so good. <laughs> and you know what? But then if you get them, they'll turn around and get it back to you. That's right. So be careful what you get put out there. I'm sorry, guys. I just have to be honest with who I am. Right. Okay, because if I can do some, if I can do some marital uh, training and teaching in China, I sure can do it right here in the United States. Trust me, my friend. Oh, that boy is my son. 